Now for part D, we've got to work out the equation of the regression line in the form f equals a plus bd. And what I've done here is I've written down what we discovered in part C, SDD and SFD. Because we're going to need these to be able to work this regression line out. And how do we do this? Well, first of all, you've got to turn to B, the gradient of the regression line through here. And in the past, when we've had tables with X and Y along the rows there, you should know that the regression lines for that were of the form Y equals A plus BX. And when we had to work out B for this, B was always equal to SXY all divided by SXX. So when we compare this to what we've got here, then for B, we've got that B must equal SFD all divided by SDD. And we've got these values here. We work them out as I say in part C, which I've recorded here. So all we need to do is just put them in. So we have for SFD 49.066 and so on and that's divided then by SDD 24.208 and so on so 24.208 and so on and if you work that out equals 2.0268 and so on okay so that's B now we've got to get A. And to get A, what we should know is that when you have got a regression line, let's just draw it here. When you've got a regression line, let's imagine that this is our x-axis and our y-axis, and this is our line coming through here, say. There's always one particular point on the line, and that is always the mean of x-bar and y-bar. And if you've got a point on a line, it must satisfy the equation. So we could say that y bar must equal a plus b x bar. And if you were to rearrange that to make a the subject, you would see that a equals y bar minus b x bar. So if we translate this across to this idea here, okay, then we can see that the point D bar, the mean of D, the mean of F, F bar, must be on this line. And so A would equal F bar minus B, D bar. Okay, now, how do I get the mean of F? Well, I need to, obviously, add up all my f values and divide by how many I've got, which is 6. So we've got that, the sum of f, it was 146. So we've got 146 then divided by 6 for f bar, minus b, well we've got b already, so we can pop that in, 2.0268 and so on. And that's multiplied by d bar, the mean of d. So we've got to add up all the d values, which we did earlier, 27.7. So we've got 27.7, and that is divided by how many we had, which was 6. And if you work this out on your calculator, you'll find you get 14.976, and so on. So that means that if we substitute our values for B and A back into our equation up here, we therefore have that F equals A. Well, we're going to round this to, say, three significant figures. So this will be 15.0 for A. And then we've got plus B times D. So plus B rounded to three significant figures is going to be 2.03. So we've got 2.03 multiplied by D. And I'll just put that as given to three significant figures, 3SF. Alright, so there's your equation for your line passing through here, the regression 
line, okay? 